guys, Dave LaCanna with Head Games Motorworks, and today we have something special for you Mitsubishi guys. I have heard you, and today we are going to port a 4G63 second gen for the CNC. Check it out. All right, so it's been a while since I ported one of these, and uh, that's because they rarely come in, but when they do, we want to be able to see and see them, so we have to digitize them. I'm going to show you how I make some fins, and I'm going to do exhaust port, I'm going to do an intake port, I'm going to do a combustion chamber, I'm going to do only one port, and what, after that, it's going to go into the CNC, Matt's going to digitize it, and uh, we're going to show you the whole process. I think it's going to be probably two videos, like we're going to have uh, the porting video and then the digitized video and you get to see the file cut and then uh, i think it'd be cool that we can also do maybe a third video if you guys want i think you should comment below uh on the parts that we're gonna put this in so this car um i'm not at liberty to say what this is going on but just to say this thing's gonna make about 1500 or more uh and it's a pretty high profile dude they bought the car I can't give too much away. But anyway, the, it doesn't have water jackets. It's a badass head. It's going on a badass car. It's going to go super fast. And um, you're going to get to see it here first. All right, this is the head. You see, no water jackets. The water jackets get taken out because when you guys are making this kind of boost that you do not want water to come out. If you blew a head gasket or the head lifts, you don't want it to go underneath the car. So you remove the water jackets, you might still run water through the head so this might get an an that's definitely actually going to happen and uh the block still uses water sometimes they use a billet one with no water but the biggest thing is you don't want to use water in between the cylinder head and the block because you don't want it to come out underneath the car and if you put water underneath of a car going 200 miles an hour that becomes a huge issue on this head, we are going to start with the short sides first, and I don't always do that, but this particular cylinder head, I like to blend everything that's in here inside the bowl and inside the short side. I like to blend it into the port, so I'm going to start there, and I'm going to use the Head Games Honey Badger Burr. This is the three-quarter Super Spiral Burr. This is a bad dude, and I'm going to have it on my Makita GD0603 grinder. One thing we're going to need to address before we go any farther is the roof of the port. Now that we're done with the bowl and the short side is this little bump right here. Now this bump is for where the valve guy goes through. And the problem is that you can't really shape the runner with this here because the size of the burr I'm going to use, I'm going to keep hitting this and it's going to jump around. So I rip this out first and then I can move on. All right, here's something to pay attention to that I'm using this burr and this burr is actually the radius. You see how it's the radius and this is the OEM radius of the port. I'm not changing the radius. 
I'm only bringing it out from all the way back here and then bringing it right here. And, and it, what I'm showing you here is by using the same size burr, if I'm using the burr that is basically the radius, now you don't have to shape it because it's already there. You're using the same burr, it's the same shape, then you blend into the port, and then you're not trying to recreate this as you pour it. All right, guys, this is what we are finished with. This is not a sandable surface. She is an ugly bird, but this is roughed in. So what we do is we rough stuff in, and then I'm not really worried about shapes and if there's bumps and stuff, because I know I'm going to go back over it, and I'm going to go back over with the Head Games Half Inch Burr, and I'll do it uh, first at a high speed, and then I do it at a low speed. So I basically poured it three times just to make sure, and I take my own my measurements. It's all dialed up, ready to rock. We are ready for sanding now. You can see the divider all the way blended all the way out to the end of the port. And we are ready to sand. First things first on the exhaust is we have to get rid of this bump right here on the exhaust short turn. And once we get rid of the short turn, we are going to blend the bowl and then go into the short side and into the runner. So what you have on the exhaust is a gigantic guide boss that you really don't need all of it. Now, I don't remove it because there's actually water on this side of it. There's right here, there's water. So what I do is, this is the Head Games Half Inch Super Spiral Burr. What I'll do is I'll make a trench on each side of it. And I try to center it. So this is gonna be almost like a fin. I'm gonna make a trench on each side of the guide boss and narrow this up and that is going to free up some space and airflow. Right, guys here is the roughed in port you can see the divider is still square and you see how the each of the of the guide bosses are basically facing the middle of the guide hole that's what you're looking for so now that we're doing this uh, we're going to finish up the port I'm gonna hit the floor and go back over it with the Hagim's half inch burr at a slower speed and be ready for sanding.
Here I think you can see a dramatic difference. In the head game sport, you can see the divider. I brought the divider all the way back into the intake port. It's all sanded. This actually sand everything to 60 grit. And I sanded it because we need the definition when we go to digitize it, the information will just come out cleaner. Uh, if you look at the factory one, this factory one is pretty much boring, right? So now if you look closely, you'll see that I actually did not change the line here. The line is the same. So I didn't lower the port. I just lowered the port outside, or I should say inside the line. So everything inside of this is now reshaped with a fin and I reshaped the walls and I widened the port and I deepened the port on both sides, widened it around the short turn, but I did not make the actual port any bigger. Now, if you go to the exhaust port, you'll see there is the big divider. There is the big guide bosses. Then the head game sport. Narrowed the divider, narrowed the guide bosses. And this is how you pick up airflow. So a lot of guys will come out here and they're going to open up the gasket like a Neanderthal. And they're going to think they're going to gain something there. But as you can see, all the gains are actually inside the port. Outside of the Emmer has not changed at all. All we're doing is reshaping the port so we can get more airflow. And let's take a look at the combustion chamber. You can see here, this is the OEM. OEM had some spots to, well, there really wasn't much to write home with on this combustion chamber. So I've learned that the 4Gs, all of these are different. You're never gonna get two the same. Some of them, I can make this a very scalped piece, and then others, uh, they basically blend in just like this. So I'm sure we're gonna have a couple different programs for this. You can see I could only blend it back in here and I really just couldn't do much to it because there is not much to do. And on all 4G63s, the number one and number four chamber are different sizes. And you basically, by making this, we're gonna digitize this number three and then we're gonna make them all the same size. All right, I just wanted to make a note here because uh, I I mentioned something about the gasket and I see a lot of, I've actually had heads come in here that people open the exhaust port to the gasket and I, I've always wondered why or what are they thinking? Like it's a Neanderthal thought that a gasket company is having a conversation about if we open up the cross-sectional area of our gasket that this will make it easier for headporters to do something with it. It is not, absolutely not needed. If anything, you're going to make the exhaust, the exit of the exhaust at the flange, you're going to make it gigantic and the rest of the port can't support it. So you lose power. Why would you do something to lose power? I've shown that you can leave the gasket exactly where it's at. So what I mean by that is like you leave the port, lines right where they are and everything is done inside of the port it's not done outside of the port all the gains are inside of that port they're not you're not going to gain anything by making it huge on one end you're only going to be able to make it better by making it bigger or to the right size inside the port and uh that's all i gotta say about that our time has come i'm sorry but be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. I'd love to hear from you and tell me what else you want to see. So we're going to run this thing over to Matt and he's going to digitize it. We're going to show all that. We're going to show a little, uh, not by step by step, but you know, show a little bit of the, um, of the process. And then this thing's ready for guides, valve job, mill and assembly. And I can show you some of the parts we're going to put in it to make that 1400 horsepower. Uh, keep watching.